Hello there Internet, this is Søren of Chief Unlocked and I'm here to let's play Knut Stories. So Knut Stories is a cute little um, indie game made by Swedish video game developer Niklas Nygren, who is probably better known as Niflas on the internet. Um, the game is completely free and you can download it off his website. And I'll probably supply a link in the video game description below um, so you can see where to get it. So the reason why I'm looking at Knut Stories right now is that Niflas has um, just recently come up with a new game called Knut Underground. As far as I can tell from the trailer, um, this new game here, Knut Underground, is kind of a mashup of two of his earlier games, um, where one is Knut Stories, the one I'm playing right here, and the other one is called Within a Deep Forest. You can get that off his website as well. So I will have a look at Knut Stories, just to review what kind of games we're dealing with here, as well as get in the mood for Knut Underground when that's going to come out. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. As you can tell, I'm playing this in a windowed mode, um, and the resolution is kind of low, as you can tell by the, um, the size of my cursor. That's really not a problem at all. So the game um, comes with one level called the machine here, but it's made so that um, everybody can make their own custom levels, and there are plenty made for the game already. But let me just show you the one that actually comes um, bundled with the game. It's called the machine here. Let's just get started. So let's see what the story is here. Among Knuts and other creatures, many stories about Juni are, are being told. Although the stories often make very little sense, many of them often contradicting each other, a small number of them are known to be partially true. This is one of those stories. There was once a very beautiful place. Very beautiful and bluish, as you can tell here. It's got cute little animals. Um, but it had suddenly changed into a desolate wasteland. One day a postman delivered a letter to Juni. The letter read as follows. Dear Juni, the place where I live used to be so beautiful, but has suddenly become grey and lifeless. Has the same thing happened at yours? Inside the cave to the west of where I live, a big machine has been built. I think it was created to draw all life out of the world. Although I'd like to go inside and turn off the machine, a monster is um, is blocking the cave. Perhaps you know a way to get past it. Please come and meet me, Hannah. This is what happened next. Yeah, so that's a very um, depressing story right to begin with. And I wonder who would build that kind of machine. So we're controlling this little, um, I guess it's a Knut, um, called called Juni here. Or maybe it's just stories that the Knuts have about um, um, characters like Juni. So there is actually a game that came before this that's um, that's just called Knut. Where this is in Knut stories and it's supposed to be about the stories that, um, that the Knuts have about, I don't know, maybe... I guess uh, stories like the one about Juni here. And all the other ones you can download off the internet. Corresponding to, of course, different levels in the game. So, um, as you can already tell, I've already picked up my first um, big um, pickup in the game, which allows me to move a lot faster. And I think I'll just change the game mode to normal here. Easy sounds a little, a little too boring, doesn't it? Let's get on here and see if we can find Hina. So, I just skipped the tutorial completely because I've played this game a little bit and sort of know how it, how it works. So, what I just went over there is a save point, so if I die, or if I choose to leave the game, I'll come back to, to that later. Let's just go on. We have enemies in this game as well, so that didn't go awfully well. And I just respawned at my save point. And that didn't go very well uh, either. So yeah, the game plays very much like a Metroidvania. I mean, I already got my first item and I'll get um, many later on. Let's see if we can get by this guy here. This jump I probably can't make. Oh, so I fell into this cave here. So of course that means, uh, as in every method rain here, that I should... That was very bad. That I should pick up some other item that allows me to... Um, to get down into the cave. So unlike um, many of those games that don't carry around a, vep a weapon, um, this game isn't about shooting stuff as such, it's more about the um, general ambience and feel of the game and that's what I personally love about it and the reason why I wanted to have another look at this before I went into Knut Underground. And so if you're seeing this right now and thinking this is kind of, um, this is your kind of game, then you should definitely go look it up and have a download and not have the entire story spoiled by me because as I'm saying the entire game is about um, it's all about exploration and the just ambience of the uh, of the game. Okay, so I just got a new pickup here. The game doesn't really tell you what it was, but as you can already see, this one allows me to 
crawl up um, crawl up walls. I should say about the controls here um, that I'm playing with my arrow keys to move around and the S key to uh, to jump. I guess I can actually just use the arrow keys to climb here. It sounds a lot easier. And yeah, the game has a lot of uh, pickups like that. Of course, without this ability uh, to climb, I wouldn't have been able to come up here. So let's just go back again. Um, I guess it just came from the right here. So one thing about the game, um, as you might have noticed already, is that, well, if you just go by the way you would usually um, pronounce things in English, this would probably be called knit stories or knit stories. Um, I, I pronounce it knit stories because um, the word knut comes from an old Swedish book um, from the Moomin series that, that maybe you guys know about. Uh, and it's called um, um, And this is, of course, me just butchering the Swedish language because I'm not a Swede, so sorry about that to any Swedish people out there. But I think I'm uh, I'm in the clear because as far as I'm concerned, Swedish is really just a... It was pretty bad. Swedish is just a already butchered version of, of Danish, so I don't think... Um, Butchering it further is that much of a problem. Um, sorry about that, sweet. I'm of course just kidding. And we are traveling on in our world here. I forgot what the uh, Knut is called in English, actually. It is, of course also has an English name. I, b I believe it's something like the Top or something like that. Veneer, you are into a Moomin Lord, that means um, something to you. Honestly, I'm not exactly myself, so... Can I make the jump here? I guess he's, he's, he's jumping as soon as I'm jumping, so maybe I have to go under him or something like that. Or maybe I just can't actually make my way past here. I'll try a couple more times and then I'll backtrack a little bit. This isn't possible at all, is it? It actually was. There we go. So either I'm just um, feeling overly good at this game, or I'm actually sequence breaking. There is an item up there, um, which I would have, of course like to get. But it doesn't seem like that's possible for me right now. So let's go into this creepy cave here. One thing I completely like about this game is, um, is its music. So I'm not sure if the music was actually done by Niflis himself. I know that he's got a bunch of music on his webpage, so I would assume so. It's just got this very nice ambience to it. Um, yeah, making the game so much more immersive. I had to stop for a second to, to, uh, to concentrate there. I mean, you just sort of flow with the game. And you already have a lot of speed going, so it's not like I have to concentrate too much to... Uh, to dodge these various, various enemies that we have. We can just sort of uh, move along very quickly. And as you can tell, uh, I've already come to a bunch of intersections um, where I could have uh, chosen between... Oh, this guy seems dangerous. Where I could have chosen between several directions to go. And of course that's, um, that's a trademark um, feature of, of Metroidvania games. Um, where you have to, to completely remember um, which paths you've chosen so far to, uh, to go back and make sure you've explored the entire game. So here I managed to get my power up and as the arrow indicates I believe this is some kind of um, power up that allows me to jump higher. So maybe that will allow me to go past the, um, the big hole that was early on when I tried to go west of my house. At least I think I'll try to do so. Not Whoa, that was bad. I'm actually not sure when I saved the last. That's a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah, so I guess I have to go down here first. If I can make it past this guy twice. Jump, Juni, jump. Niflas himself, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, I don't think I did. And made a number of levels for this game as well. And I played through most of them, and that they are definitely worth picking up. And I guess I could just go here, maybe, and save, and then go back down. Seems like that's just as easy. Or maybe it's not because I have to spiral around a little bit down here. Are these things gonna kill me or are they just gonna light up the room? Seems like they're just uh, lights. Torture some, some, some sort of lamps maybe. Alright, so let's carry on and see what we have to our right. I'm actually not sure I could make the jump at the right, but let's see. 
because those things, uh, the bullets there are kind of homing, so maybe I should be a little careful about that. I forgot about this room as well. Oh, that was bad. Let's try that one more time. And once again, it's not like I'm trying to speedrun this game or anything, I just want to show you a game that I personally think is, uh, is great, even if it is as simple as it is. And, um... Get myself in the mood for the next game, Canoe Down the Ground. There was actually just a save point right here, so uh, that of course makes my journey a little bit easier. So just uh, run past these guys. These small puzzles that you see in the game where I have to dodge enemies and stuff like that, um, there does come the, some kind of um, Super Meat Boy ish. I, I, I don't really want to compare this game to Super Meat Boy at all, but. It's just the first thing I thought of here. Your Super Meat Boy kind of muscle memory to the game where you fail the various challenges uh, again and again and again because some of them are actually pretty difficult, in my opinion at least, um, before you're uh, finally able to get past them. So there is a, I wouldn't exactly call it skill, but there is a certain, um, certain ex to a certain extent, some kind of training involved in the game as well. So we actually go to our left down here, I guess we couldn't. Um, so it seems like I'm spending a lot of time just moving around here. I believe we can actually kill ourselves with some some button that I forget. So Q shows us the, pop, uh, the, the pickups that we already got and uh, the ones that are in the game. So as you can tell, it's not the biggest game in the world, but um, it compensates by having a, um, a bunch of custom levels available. I'm pretty sure I could kill myself somehow, but I just sort of forgot how... So I guess maybe I should have played the tutorial anyway. So let's see what we've got here. As you can already tell by now, the um, the music changes a lot. Um, with the uh, kind of area of the game that we're in. It changes the entire ambience of the game. The music is so good, I, I sort of feel bad about commentating over the music. I would rather just sit back, play the game, and, and let you guys enjoy the music and... and, um, and the gameplay here. But uh, this isn't exactly a live stream, so you can't tell me to shut up, and I probably won't. Um, so, sorry about that. If you want that kind of experience, you definitely should just pick up the game and, and try it out yourself instead. Seems like we're underwater now. This is very super, super meat boyish as well. This, this enemy here. I'll make this. Yup, it's too difficult. So this game isn't about difficulty at all. I mean, as I already said, some of the puzzles are difficult. Um, or some of the challenges rather. But it's not like you're going to ever be stuck and have to try the same thing over 100 times. That's not what this game is about at all. Pretty lucky timing right there. Might as well have died, but that didn't happen. So I think the difference between the various difficulties in this um, in this game is the number of enemies and the number of projectiles they fire. But I'm not completely sure. So here's another pickup for us. So it's not completely clear how we can get that right now, is it? I don't think I can. Can I make it in here? I guess I can. So I wonder what that does. See if I can make my way out. I wasn't able to try that again. So the game is a lot more rewarding. I mean, as you can tell, it's not the longest game in the world. I said that already. Um, but it's still a nice one. I thoroughly enjoyed it the first time I played through it. And I do as well this time. So if you wanna, um, after having a look at this, um, also want to have a look at the other game, um, Knut Underground, that's coming out, I'm definitely probably going to, definitely probably, <laughs> I am likely to perhaps maybe also make a um, speedrun of that, or <laughs> not a speedrun of it, sorry, a playthrough of it, um, when I get my hands up and on it. Um, so, so if you want to make sure you get that as well, Please uh, feel very free to, to subscribe to the channel, um, and you'll see when that, come up, when that comes out. So now I wasn't able to make my way down here as well. By the way, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the last pickup that I got here um, 
it seems like it turns me um, it makes me turn red when I come close to enemies so that doesn't seem all that useful right now but I believe that it will be later so now we're in this desolate part of the world that Hannah was talking about in her letter so what is going on with this let's go all the way over here I'm glad you received my letter. I think you'll need a special power to pass the creature to the west. Yeah, right, Hannah. We can do anything in the world, can't we? So I guess this is that creature. And maybe we can't pass it at all, because it has huge spikes coming out of it. So let's just go back again. Sorry about that. I guess you'll have to live with a desolate world. You can come visit any time if you like. Our world is still pretty nice. Shut up for a second again. The music is just absolutely amazing. And now it stops, so I'll, <laughs> I'll begin to talk again. It's not like the music is. Uh, it's like a huge orchestra is set up to create the best feeling ever. It's, um, it creates ambience and um, in way of simplicity, essentially. Okay, so we couldn't do anything there quite yet. So, probably some of these other pickups that we have here will allow us to get through. So now I'm a little confused. Where can I go um, that I haven't been to already? So again, the exploration part of this game comes in. This guy can easily come by, that's not a problem at all. There, didn't I? I believe so. Yeah. You can't enter the houses, um, as far as I can tell. But if I remember correctly, um, it is possible in um, some of the other levels to do so. Here, I'm just wondering if I can do some sort of um, seeking breaking um, by jumping out and jumping to the wall above. Doesn't quite seem to be possible. I'll give it just a couple of more tries. Seems like I can almost make it, but then again, not still quite. So we've got a lot of air controlled here and over over Juni. Yeah, I was actually able to make that jump. So I wonder what that means for uh, for the game. I definitely can't make my way up there. So let's just try and see what we've got here instead. Jump. Most of the enemies in, um, in this world um, are actually just critters that won't kill you at all. But then for some reason some of them seem to be very, very evil. Uh, this seems a bit more difficult. Also seems like something I've seen in uh, a level in Super, Super Meat Boy. I actually forgot when this game com um, came out. I'm pretty sure it came out before Super Meat Boy, but... Um, um, yeah, I'm not completely 100% sure on that one. Is this one was easy enough? <laughs> that guy just completely ramped me. So let's see if we can do this again. Yep, that wasn't too bad. I just want to jump over this guy before he runs into me. And that wasn't too bad either. This is where we were before. And it seems like we just have to move on here. There's also a bit of platforming involved, as you can already tell here. Alright, and there's no car up. So what does that allow us to do? That's a double jump. So let's just try that out immediately. So we get uh, increasingly mobile here, so can I actually make this jump? I was able to. I don't think I ever will need being able to make that jump, but it's just a nice way to check what I was able to do here in general. So let's see what we've got up here. Did I go here already? This is a little bit late here, so... Uh, oh right, I did go here, but I don't think I ever made it to the top. 
So I guess that's uh, maybe the way I was supposed to uh, get the jump up, uh, double jump power up by going up here to the left. Is that correct? Or it looks like that is the case because then I'll fall down here and that's probably right the cave with, um, with the guys living. Just make it over here and probably die on our way. So I did actually sequence break, but uh, in the end it probably only saved me um, some some uh, some 10 20 seconds that I'm now going to use here instead because I'm not very good at computer games. Of course, the reason why I'm uh, constantly making references to, to speed running and stuff like that um, is again because of this speed demos archive and um, arranged marathon that was going on for charity. Uh, during the last week so um, by the time this movie is going to end up on, on YouTube that event has probably ended um, but it's an annual event they throw um, and I think it's the best thing in the world and um, just sitting and, and watch, watching people play video games that you've played yourself uh, in your childhood and, and completely breaking them um, it's, it's a genius pastime um, I think and of course, it supports a very terrible force, uh, namely preventing cancer in this case. But enough about that, now we were able to, to get by the enemy that we couldn't get by before, we had to take a bit of a detour. And now I think I might actually be able to get up here, yeah, it was. As you can tell, the enemies are also getting increasingly difficult. Not by much, but enough that you can actually notice. Let's go on here. Oh, that was a very bad dungeon. I should have been able to make it past that guy. Yeah, he isn't that scary. Could I go in here already? I want to check out the east first. See what's here. So it seems like only five people live in this world. Hannah and Juni and uh, the three people in the cave and a bunch of weird animals. So it seems like the kind of thing that uh, should be able to push me upwards, but it's not quite. So what is up with that? Oi, that was very close. Hello. Goodbye. Can I go up here? Yep. Do I want to go up here? Probably nuts. The game has boundaries. Um, I think this is probably the easternmost part of the world. Oh, nothing much to do there. Unless if I take a huge leap of faith. Let me just try that once. I don't think this level has, um, has that kind of thing, but I remember some of the other levels having some, uh, some kind of leap, or leap of faith necessity built in. This is just where I was before as well. Let's just, just move on here. This guy's a little trickier. But he's not too bad either. So this place down here looks very scary. Let's see what we've got here first. Well, I can save, but it doesn't look like I can do very much here. I don't think I'll be able to make that jump. Just exactly not. So let's just move onwards. See what we've got. Of course, it becomes even more creepy because there's no music to uh, to make me sure what water should feel about the place I'm just confused instead what is this place new power up not really sure what that does so we'll find out find out soon enough oh it made ghosts. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that, and also made me impossible to get. Uh, it made it impossible for me to get up there. 
It did turn on the music as well, I'm not sure how I feel about that either. Oh, get away from me. Can I make that jump? I guess I should be able to. And the ghosts don't really kill me, so... I don't need to be afraid of that. So if anybody out there is interested in, um, in seeing some of the other levels in the game, um, I might actually end up just playing those as well. Let's see what I have to do here. It's easy enough. So am I out of the evil forest again? Looks like I am. Yeah, right. Wasn't fair at all. Can I make it past that guy? I can. I guess his only purpose was to, uh, to scare the shit out of me. Which I'm not that fond of. I mean, if I had some kind of disease that uh, um, would make me benefit from having this shit scared out of me, I would be okay with it, but honestly, that's not quite the case. So, um, now we can make it up here, and we weren't able to do so before. We'll get into a new area. And these guys dangerous, it turned out that they were. So let's see if we can find a good stuff and a good place to win. To save and end the video here, and then I think I will do that. So the game is very easy to uh, to get out of uh, get out of and in uh, into again, just because you can start at every single save point in the game. So I think I'll call it call it quits for this episode. So once again, thank you everybody for uh, for watching. This has been Son of Chief Unlocked, and I am playing his stories. Um, if you want to make sure you'll get future updates, you can um, subscribe to my channel and you'll have them right in your feed. Also, if you like this video um, and feel nice today, you could throw a like below the video and those are always very welcome. But for now, thanks for watching and see you some other time.